Alalu. Alalu. Ladies and gents, welcome to the hustle with me, the 97. You guys need to be familiar with me by now. I'm not going to say what I am, what I do, what I want to do, what I want to achieve. I'm not going to say any of that because I'm here today with the Bloom Slang rapper Vesco. Now, Bloom Slang is not just a title of an album or the title of a song or a clothing style or a specific brand. It's a subgenre in Afrikaans rap. Bloom Slang. Now, I'm going to start off this interview by asking Vesco who he is or not asking him to tell us who he is by what we know who he is but I want him to tell us what does he say about himself Vesco what do you say about yourself <laughs> what do I say about myself well first of all I'm Sylvester Shaquille Burton Brown that's my government name aka Vesco um, Lord of the Bloom Slang now Bloom Slang Bloom Slang it's, it's more than just a language more than just a slang Bloom Slang itself it's a city a planet on its own you know whereby you can be who you are without expecting you to be something you're not or something you're not comfortable with so when you saying that bloom slang is an Afrikaans genre it's more than that it's not just Afrikaans it's a it's slang it's a mangal moose it's a language yeah it's a language okay 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 second question that I have for Vesco he told us who he is right now second thing I have for him and this is like the bulk of, of what we are busy here with now uh, we are busy with a series called hashtag fill up F and B we have viewers and guest uh, artists being here for an interview other people being guest presenters and this is what it's all about this is the main question in the entire interview I want to know what you have planned for 2018 make us excited with what's coming up for Bloom Slang as well as for Vesco in the year 2018 well, for me, for me telling you what I have planned for next year puts more pressure on you because then you will be on my, on my, almost out of my ass. But then, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, but, but I, I'm going to do everything I didn't do this year and that I wanted to do. First of all, I'm going to make sure I drop the remix tape next year. That's my main focus for next year, whereby I want to be the first one to drop a mixtape. A EP in an album so in that year so that's the three projects that I want to work on next so this is the the main thing in, in 2018 your main plan is releasing I just want to get this right an EP a mixtape mix and an album in the same year a mixtape a mixtape EP EP album. album guys I think that's extremely impressive and I think it, it puts pressure on him to finish it because he just burnt his ship he just told you, he just told me that this is what we can expect and I think we need to hold him accountable. In, at, at the end of 2018, we need to be able to sit back and say that, wow, I have Vesco's EP, his mixtape as well as his, his album and, and I'm going to expect that. I'm going to bank on that. I want all three of those, like on my phone, on my computer, I want to jam to it. Now listen, third question that I have for you bro is this. There are a lot of people out there that are not sure about what they are doing, whether it's the correct thing. You know, we have a lot of people studying education, but they just do it for the money. Yeah. We have a lot of people um, becoming lawyers, but they do it because that's what their family expects of them. Now, in the rap game, I'm sure no one in your family forced you to become a rapper. So it's actually something that you want to do. Now, even though it's something you want to do, how sure are you that this is the thing for you? <laughs> how sure am I? At this point, man, I'm, I'm so sure that it feels like I can leave the job that I have now and just start now. Because, like, I, I remember you said it once, that why, why plan A and B? Why not just, why not just go with plan A? Yeah. So that's how, I'm feel, that's how I feel right now. For, for, for 2018 music, I mean, I believe if I put everything in music next year, by the end of the year with that album, I'll be signing the record labels will be, huh? <laughs> that's amazing now if he speaks about record labels it brings us to our next question which is if he's going to be signing with people then obviously they are going to come with money and and what i want to know from him now is does he want to be a millionaire do you want to be someone who has money is it part of your ambition to be someone that can say wow guys Post something on Twitter, on Instagram, on Facebook and say, guys, today I became a millionaire. Is that one of your ambitions? Well, asking me, do I want to be a millionaire? It's, it's, that's something I would have said when I was still in preschool. Like, 
that's something that has to happen. I'm gonna be a millionaire, Cindy, because money, money is everything, bro. Whether they say money is the root of evil, all evil, how could, how can money be the root of all evil when even a Bible costs you money? Mm. So simple. It's not a matter of do I want to be a millionaire. I'm gonna be a millionaire. So it's not just a desire. It's something that's definitely gonna happen. I have to. I have to. It's just something that I have to do because. Without money, where, where will we ever go in this life? Now, with that said, guys, remember that I was sitting next to Vesco. And one day he's going to be a, a millionaire. And we are in, like, my little room right now. One day he's going to be a millionaire with a big house and all the great shit that they can be. And I want you to remember that I was sitting next to him in my humble abode. And I might be knocking at his door asking for a milli of my own. Anyway, um, like there's always things in our lives that's like hindering, hindering us, stopping us from becoming who we want to be. That's keeping us back, uh, not causing you to stand up in the morning. You know, maybe being lazy, maybe feeling like, oh man, I have to finish the song, I have to write the song and not writing it. Is there any other things besides the normal stuff that keeps us all back? Like laziness and being tired and uh, is there anything specific to you stopping you from going as hard as possible? Yeah, I think for me it's fear. You know, I always had that fear that what if, what might, what if something might happen. I, I'm, I always think, I always tell myself that I think too much, and that's the first problem. So, so fear for me, I still had, I still had that fear. Now I said had because that's that was still a few months ago until I decided no one, it's no one ever. Yeah. So yeah, it's fear. It's mostly fear that you fear that. What will happen to me if I'm in that situation? What if I if I make it and then I, and something happens and I'm down back to where I, where, where I am now, starting again? What will happen? To see, where I, if I have a job or if I study for something, I know I can always fall back on that. I have a degree in something. With, my, with rap, it's not a degree. Tomorrow you might run out of, out of lyrics. You don't know what to say anymore. And what, what will have, happen in that case? So. So that's basically what kept me from uh, fear, fear. But now I'm over there. Yeah. That's great to know, bro. Right? Just getting like over fear and just pursuing your dreams. Now, we spoke about him becoming a millionaire, and he says he's gonna become a millionaire. It's just something that's gonna happen. That's like tomorrow he's gonna eat food, so in a few years' time he's gonna be a millionaire. It's as sure as that. Now, Casper Nyobes also wanted to be a millionaire. He became one, now he wants to be a billionaire. And what I wanna know from Vesco is the following. Does he believe that he can actually beat Casper in your vest? <laughs> Yo, can you see how my complexion I kind of look like AKA now you want to start a composure, composure beat? Bro. But yeah, man, I believe so. <laughs> I believe so. I believe in myself. I believe in that. Yeah. Now, with that said, he prepared a little something for us. I know this guy is <coughs> a talented lyricist. He's going to just drop some bars for us. Like, just give us some doo -doo. I'm not going to do that. It's not my style. So anyway, Vesco, I'm going to get out of the picture. I'm going to put my little paper down. I'm going to go past the mic, go past the camera, and then please, just give us, give us your best, man. <laughs> Sanbad Bloomsland. Yeah. Yo, yo. <laughs> Vesco, Lord of Bloomsland, about to drop one of his masterpieces, freestyles, or oh, something, something, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Vesco, Vesco, cool, calm and collective, that's a first impression. Ah, keep it on the low, let them wonder what's a nigga's full intention. Ah, been around, I met a lot, some are real and most are not, but I kept my distance and kept my composure, composure, composure. Ha, ah, it's bloom sling, it's bloom sling, yeah. I'm a monster, got this madness stuck inside of me. I'll kill you with the mic, gun, knife, anything I see in front of me. That's the colored blood stuck inside of me. Hey, booty, hey, booty, Jake and me. Get Kerry Convesco, Vierre Kirdir, hold your rust and nothing bounces up by the deer. Huh? Okay.